traders, Anthony here. What I want to do with this video is run through last week's VIP signals and uh, we'll have a look at the results, see where we could have made some changes. So look, without further ado, let's get into the video and uh, take a look at some results. Okay, let's just scroll down here and you can see the date, bottom left, 4th of the 6th. So we kicked off at the beginning of June and well, we completed 2nd of the 8th. So we've got June and July in here. And you can see the balance, 112.863 profit. Uh, so this is trading 0.5% risk for every trade. So let's just go out of here. Well, actually, cancel that because we closed this at break even. All right, so we're going to come back to 112.863 and this will be 0. For some reason, it's showing negative in it. I mean, it should be positive because we sold here. Never mind. I must have clicked the wrong thing. But look, here's the thing. Start from the top. These are marked up in green. Right? These are our trades that we've taken this uh, previous week. You know, I said this last week that I would go into this the, the previous week. I, I said in the previous week that I would explore the possibility of set and forget. We open trades during the week, leave them alone until right at the end of the week and trade through news events okay this is what i came up with at the end of the previous week because if we had have done that it would have been an incredibly profitable week and we can see here for example if we'd left this alone and closed this on friday at the close of new york now well, that would have been quite a nice outcome and this was a, a trade earlier in the week so we we took it here and you can see the outcome from this entry point okay and then we took another trade yesterday this was trading into NFP. And I mean, look, the thing is, it's a gamble trading into something like NFP. This could have gone north and it could have resulted in a loss of 1R, you know. So, I mean, to make a decision around trading through news events, yes and no, all right? If your account is well and truly in the money during the week and you're trading into a high impact news event, the worst case scenario is there's two possibilities. One, you make a ton of money. And the second possibility is it goes against you. But here's the thing. The market will spike in either direction. Let's just say it goes against. This was slightly in profit. Given where the stop loss is placed, it's unlikely in this case here that slippage would be a problem. Even if, even if this continued further up. It could Right? It could be an issue if it's a really strong spike and it pushes with a vengeance in the opposite direction. Slippage will result in, look, you're going to lose 1R. That's your stop loss range. Worst case scenario, it slips through and you lose 1, 1 1.5. It starts closing and sort of dribbles out as it spikes through. So look, really worst case scenario, I'm thinking, you know, 1.5 R loss into a news event with slippage. You could probably argue and say, well, it could go to 2 R. Fair enough. If your account is up 2, 3, 4 R, you could take a calculated risk by leaving this trade running into the news event, understanding that you might lose 1, 1.5, something like that. And if you're up 3 R, it's not a big deal. It drops you back to 1.5 R in, in, in profit. You know, you just got to manage trades well. Now, look, here's the thing. With this trade here, this was last night, Friday, we were in slight profit. It traded back to break even. And uh, we were, I don't know, 20 minutes out from NFP. So I decided to shut it down. Okay, so this was a break even trade yesterday. There was the Aussie Swissy, and I think we had the CAD yen. I think that was the other one that was open yesterday. So that was a break even as well. Anyway, let's just run through these and have a look. But look, back here with this trade earlier in the week, you know, we could have closed this if we let it run. Look, I'm closing these into a news event. And two weeks in a row, it's resulted well and truly in our favor if we would have left our trades alone. But you know, so you just got to kind of weigh it up. I mean, look, we were up 5R last week. So, you know, you could risk 1 or 2R with a trade like this. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, to be continued. This one here, if we'd have closed it at this level down in here into NFP, well, that would have been a you know, nearly a 1R gain on that one. 
In any case, uh, you know, we'll move on. So Aussie Yen was a, another trade we had this week. All right, you can see where I closed it. I think we were trading into some news event and I shut it down. But the outcome, as per the previous week, was well and truly in our favour if we'd have left these alone. But uh, anyway, all good. You know, you've just, <laughs> it's, it's really a bit of a challenge, um, you know, managing trades. In fact, beginning of the week, we had a really tough couple of days. Let's just have a look and see what that looks like. The CAD yen, that was another one. You know, I shut this one down early due to a news event here. If we'd have left this one running, well, you know, into NFP would have got a little bit more out of it. And then that was the result into NFP. I mean, look, you can see we're on the right track. It's a trend continuation strategy. Now, we had a couple of these go against, yeah, th this is, this is going to happen, guys right actually i shut this one down into the news event yeah look that's a perfect example of what can happen so we came out slightly in profit with this one but here's the thing you know i like i'm a trend continuation trader and i'm always looking for the the swing the price swing the re, uh, the retrace on a four hour or a one hour to get involved and and this was our entry point right there based on this price swing and what's going to happen at some stage, well, here's an example. Entry point, market moves in our favor, and then look look what happens here. I mean, this will take you out if you don't happen to close early. So this was into a news event. I shut it down. Slightly in profit here. In fact, exactly 0 0.36R. What I'm doing is I'm transferring the entry, exit, stop loss, everything from VIP Right, so you can do that yourself if you like, if you want to check. But you know, I'm keeping this completely 100% to the pip, honest. There's there's no exaggeration of profits or or uh, anything like that going on here. This is the real deal. You're going to find with Telegram signal providers, 95% of them are dishonest with their results, and they all look fantastic. But when you actually trade their signals, it's a completely different story. Euro dollar. Let's just have a look at the pound yen. That was another one. Yeah, again, stop loss at break even. This would have been a really nice outcome. But, you know, it was trading in our favor. It traded down and I decided to move the stop loss to break even. And of course, look what happened. It spikes up and it got stopped out at break even. But look at the result. You know, I mean, you can see we're on the right track with this. You know, and look, into next week, it's just a matter of, look, the more experience you get, the better the results you have when you're managing your account. Trade management, guys, is, that's, that's, that's where it's all at. You know, you can have the best signals in the world. Trader 1 will lose money and Trader 2 will make a little bit of money and Trader 3 will make a lot of money. All right? it's, it's all about trade management and it's just an ongoing challenge. You know, I mean, look, I've been trading, I started in 2002 and I turned full-time in 2016. All right? So I've been going for a while. It takes time. I'm still evolving. I'm still learning. Every week I learn something new. You know, you're evolving, constantly evolving. And that's the wonderful thing about this is that once you get through the initial stage where you're a losing trader and you shift into being a profitable trader, it just gets better and better after that. Anyway, break even. All right. You know, so, you know, I'm juggling whether I leave my stops where they are. Because if that was the case with, with a lot of these trades previously, you know, uh, in previous weeks, our break-even stop loss was taken out. So, you know, it's just a matter of going back over your trades every week and assessing everything. And then, you know, in the, in the coming week, you make slight adjustments. Pound yen, New Zealand's uh, Swissy, another break-even. I'll put it down to a news event. I can't remember exactly why I close this at break even but it would have been an, a news event that's the only reason i'll shut these down at break even new zealand dollar yeah this one you know and look here's a, the example that i sent to vip we stick to the plan guys we, we're a trend continuation we trade these pullbacks regardless now you, you just don't anticipate you know like here's your entry yep uh swing high swing low retrace enter you know, and at that point, you're following your plan. You've still got to follow the plan. We don't know what's ahead of us, right? And you can see if you stick to the plan, you have an edge. That's the main thing. You have an edge. We have an edge. We're doing the same thing. This was, that was Monday. And then, of course, 
that's going to happen. So this occurred with a couple of trades. We had the euro dollar, I think. We had the um, New Zealand dollar. We got taken out here. So minus one. In fact, I'll just grab the spreadsheet. All right, here it is. The Kiwi dollar. Oh, gold was the other one. That's right. We got stopped out on gold. Uh, and then the euro dollar. Euro dollar was 0 0.36. This is exact, guys, to the pip, these results. So we came out pretty well break even this week. Nothing wrong with that, guys. We protected our account. And if you count these, we have 18 weeks. We've had one losing week in 18 weeks. That was back here. One losing week and one break even week. The rest have been profitable. That's a pretty good track record. Let's get back to the chart. Okay, dollar a yen into the news event, was it? Yep, it was. Okay, and we shut it down early. Slightly in profit, 0.08R on that one. And then gold, and we got taken out on that. Trade your strategy, guys, regardless. Look at that. See? Enter short. Four-hour time frame. Retrace. Enter short. Got in a little bit late. Fair enough. But I took the short there as this was trading south. And, you know, all of a sudden it decides to turn around on you. Very difficult to uh, to pick when that's going to happen. But you know, you, if you stick to your plan, see see this trend. Look at it. Low to high, retrace, buy. All right? And again, I just want to repeat the fact that we have an edge. You have an edge. Okay, our VIP signals absolutely have an edge in the markets. And all you need is a strategy or a trading plan that is proven. And we've got that. You have a trading plan. And you stick to the plan. And you come out on top. Guys, we've got members building their accounts, passing prop firm challenges, getting funded. Scroll up in, in the free channel and you'll see I've posted a couple of recent snapshots, guys, sending me their uh, prop firm results. We're definitely on a good thing and I'm excited about next week. Now, here's the thing. I have a uh, Forex account management service. This makes more money than VIP. VIP was break even last week and this account was up I don't know, for, for $450 or something for the week. This uh, Forex account management will take every VIP trade plus more. Okay, so I, I trade it manually as well. And the trades that I'm taking here, I won't put into VIP because it's just a little bit more complicated and I don't want to confuse you guys, right? So this makes money. I'm using this as a master account. Look at the drawdown. It's very tight. Monthly return. All right, here's the thing with this, you know, 2%, 1 1.3, you know, 1.8, blah, 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 2.2. .2. I'm a very conservative trader. I have really strict risk, risk management protocols that I follow, and I'm trading multiple client accounts. Okay, here they are. I'm just going to blur out a couple of things here. You don't need the names, but you can see the balances, and you can see, you know, I'm managing 623, 24,000 at the moment. Some of these are prop firm accounts and the other thing uh, uh, is clients send me accounts that they've destroyed and they ask me to recover their accounts for them All right so that's what happens with this as well but uh, you know I mean that's what I do and uh, th this account is performing better than the VIP signals okay so if you're interested in um, having your account managed I'd be more than happy to Oblige. Okay, so testimonials. I've just added a couple of guys who have sent me their prop firm thing. But uh, come over here, guys. This is where I'm posting previous week videos, and uh, you can join VIP through here. This is the results. The spreadsheet goes back to the beginning of April. So scroll up VIP if you want to go further than April. You can see for yourself. But yeah, this is pretty spot on. And uh, I don't exaggerate my, my results, right? So there's a monthly membership. But there's different options here. What do you get in VIP? You get Telegram signals. They're TS Copier friendly. Okay, here's the link over here, TS Copier. You can copy my signals automatically. There's the setup video. There's the uh, settings that you can import. All right, that's all there. Come back over here. Okay, signals. There's a There's a members chat group where you can get in there and talk about stuff, share your trades, discuss a whole bunch of things. We have a Foundations for Success currency trading course and part of that are ongoing members-only mentorship videos that go into VIP and then you get access to our TradingView indicators, right? Monthly membership. Guys, shout me a sushi train once a month. That's all I'm asking. I don't need to charge any more than that. I don't want to, right? I'm here to 
provide a platform that, let's have a look at it, provides my members with absolute transparency, honesty, and quality trade signals. Here they are. You can see how they're posted into VIP here. Okay, these are uh, copy friendly. So you get the signal and then you get a, uh, a video. Sorry, you get, you get the signal and a screenshot in generally. Right, there's an Aussie Swiss screenshot, signal and screenshot. Okay, here's the chat room. Everyone in here is communicating and, uh, you know, like this is a safe space. This is what I've created, a safe space where there's full transparency. You guys can jump in here, can chat. And more importantly, this is where you can learn to trade, learn to be a profitable trader. Copy my signals for one thing, but use the trading course and all my videos along with the indicators to become profitable. I want to show you something. Let's just do a search for gift. One of my members, here he is. He sent me this, it's $300 gift. You made me pass my challenge and live account. Now he's 13% in profit on his live account. Thank you for your incredible generosity. But uh, you know, this is a successful trader. He's trading manually, passing his prop firm, now funded, and there's more of those. This member here has passed both his FTMO phases, now funded. Okay, so here's an invite to join us on this journey, guys. It's a safe space for, for traders to learn and grow, communicate, and it's lunch once a month. I really want to help people. I have something to offer. I don't want to give it away for free. You shout me lunch. That's the deal. Now, if you uh, want to pay through... Okay, so you can join with this PayPal link. There's other options. Scroll down. And uh, if you want to go crypto or other uh, options, click this link here and that'll take you over to this page. And it's all there, guys. There's the links, wallet addresses, everything's there. Scroll. Once you've joined, just click this link and uh, send me some details. And then you can DM me in Telegram down here. Okay, guys, with that, yeah. Look forward to seeing you in VIP and I hope you have a great weekend. Safe trading as always and we'll see you in the next video.